What is up YouTube? It is your boy Brent the Legendary Punisher coming at you with another brand spanking new video. Now today's video, be sure to watch till the end. I have a special announcement. It's going to be about my um, latest giveaway. This will be for... you'll find out. But anyway, um, over the past couple of weeks I've gotten a couple of new pops and I got a new Marvel Legends. I'm going to end up making it its own separate review because, you know, they take a while. But the thing I picked up, this was during WonderCon. Now, during WonderCon, unfortunately, pretty much everything got sold out, including the Boba Fett one that I wanted to get. I'm still in the process of trying to get one. Anybody has one of those Boba Fetts or, you know, know somebody that's selling it? give me a holler I've got a couple of people but they haven't responded to my offers yet but anyway when I was on target I saw that this went live and this was one I had to get in it is the white suit black widow figure the target exclusive it is the deadly origins now this one looks pretty cool I cannot wait to review this it looks like they have um new effects for the weapons because it looks like it's got um of course you have like the shooting effects but it looks like you also put like smoke effects like there's a bullet that was just fired so it's pretty cool as you know black widow is one of my favorite avengers so definitely had to pick that up can't wait to review that for y'all then i had one of my pre-orders come in and it is the glow in the dark gambit x-men pop from entertainment earth now the glow on this is amazing. If you guys have not seen the glow on it, I'll try to post pictures on my Instagram for it, but it is insane. Like all of this right here glows, and if I'm not mistaken, the eyes do too, which it should, because man, but man, it is such a beautiful pop. Let me get it to the side. Do you see it? He's using his powers. You see the throwing cards and stuff. But, yep, there's the rest of the pops in the wave. I believe some of these are really old pops. Yeah, because I have that Psylocke right there. And then that Phoenix just came out recently. And then the Rogue. I still need to get that Rogue. I'm leaning towards getting the Hot Topic one or this one. Cause like, eh, I don't know yet, guys. But anyway, the next pop I got. Now, this one was from a trade that I did with DK the legendary collector I think he'll post his video soon I don't know but um yeah I traded him three pops to get this this is the all for one I think it's full powered I believe nope it just says all for one but it is the fugitive toys exclusive I call it maybe about battle damage power fist or whatever but um this is the the one where he was doing the final attack against All Might. Spoilers if you guys haven't seen the Season 3. You know, skip ahead. But, um, basically he fights All Might. And he gets this big ass arm. And that's when All Might does the United States of Smash. So, this pop is really good to have displayed next to the Weekend All Might. The Box Lunch Glow Exclusive. Because that's basically the after effects of him using the United States of Smash, but it's pretty good to have um, displayed next to each other. I will get this pop eventually signed, so yeah, it's really cool. Like, they, the amount of detail that they put in here, like, you can clearly see that there's the outlines of the eyes and stuff, and in the anime, you can't see his eyes. It just looks like he's just has skin over his face, and he's always, like, doing that with his eyes, like, rubbing them and stuff. And if you look very, very carefully at the pop, like, you have to actually have it at you. You can see that they put indents for the eyes, which is a really nice touch on Funko's part. I really like that detail. And then, of course, you have the the hoses on the mask are broken. It's just, it's a really well-detailed pop. Thank you, DK, for the trade. I greatly appreciate it. But, yep, there's that. Now... On to the cool part. Um, now, as you guys probably watch them or you know about them, the Cryptics Collection, they are apparently they're going to be leaving YouTube soon. So they posted some of their collection on Instagram, and they're good friends of mine. I've talked to them a couple of times. Um, 
think I was on a stream with them once, but they're real dear friends to everybody in the Funko community. They've done a lot for us. So I wanted to help them out. I saw that they had a pop that I actually have in my own collection that um, I was going to eventually get signed. One, one version of them. Um, and they put it up for sale. I, you know, I was like, hey, what you got on that? What, you know, how much you want? And like, they told me a price. I was like, got you. So I bought it. And it is... Ochako, and it is signed by, um, I forgot the voice actress's name, but yep, it is a signed Ochako pop, guys. This is so, so, so sick. It says release on there. Now, if you guys, yeah, you've probably seen it within the second episode if you've watched My Hero Academia. That's what she says to, um, stop the effects of her quirk, which is, um, zero gravity. Uh, I'm just so happy to have this signed. Because I was going to end up sending my, my regular common one, which I have a duplicate of now. So I'll probably put her up for trade or something. And um, I also have the helmeted one, the Grail. I was going to send one of those to get signed. So this is pretty good to have. Thank you, Cryptics Collections, for selling it to me. Wish you guys the best in your future endeavors. I don't know if you're watching this, but... Thank you guys. We all appreciate you in the Funko community, and y'all have a good time. You know. The last thing in this video, guys. All right. I'm gonna do a big, big giveaway. Probably the biggest giveaway I've ever freaking done on the channel. All right. If I hit 500 subscribers by the end of May. I'll give you till May. It's going to be it said on Instagram till April if you guys follow my Instagram, but and it's too close till the end of April. If I hit 500 subscribers at the end of April, end of uh, May, I will be giving away a Grail Funko Pop that is signed. A lot of people want this in their DBZ collection, so I'm going to end up give I'm going to give you this away. And it is a signed Majin Vegeta over 9,000 exclusive pop. Now, in order to get this, in this video, after you guys watch the whole thing, because this is how I'll know you're watching the video, you need to put hashtag, uh, hashtag Vegeta's Sacrifice. Hashtag Vegeta's Sacrifice. And you're in for the um, 500 subscriber, well, if I hit 500 subscribers but then that that makes me know that you guys have watched the whole video you're interested in the giveaway and you're entered boom I mean think about it and share the video out if you want but yeah as soon as I hit 500 subscribers somebody is getting this Majin Vegeta signed but not only that guys you're also getting a exclusive customized pop by Alexandra Perez she was kind enough to donate this for a future giveaway so I'm going to toss that in the giveaway you will be getting that custom pop and it is a you know what I'll leave it to a surprise but it is a custom diamond pop you guys will not want to miss it miss out on this giveaway it's going to be insane and I might add another pop in there or I don't know yet but it's it's going to be a diamond pop from alexandra perez matt productions and it's going to be a signed majin vegeta signed by chris sabat over 9,000. this is a grail in anybody's dbz collection these were hard to get for a while i don't know if people are still trying to get it but you get an autograph signed pop like come on guys but that's going to do it for the video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And click the bell for the notifications. I'm your boy, Brent the Legendary Punisher, and I'm signing out.